So what's going on YouTube? I'm here with another episode of Road to the Show. Um, um, do you guys see that score? That's why I'm kind of not here. 10 to 1? Are you kidding me? I thought the 7s were bad. 10 to 1. 10, 10 to 1. 10 runs on 10 hits. 10 to 1. They scored 8 runs in the second inning alone. Oh my gosh. What would you guys do in this situation? I don't know what to do here. I don't know what to do here. It, it's 10 to 1 in the bottom of the fifth. What's... I'm all for epic comebacks and all, but this is just ridiculous. I'm just... That's just... That's the end of the game for us right there, because that... What? 10 to 1? Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Wow. Just... Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. 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 Just wow. So, let's talk about Gamescom. As I'm recording this, it's the upcoming week. But, when you're watching this, you're going to be in the middle of Gamescom, so you're going to see all my coverage on the channel here. And I want to know what you guys think. Any predictions? Well, wait, why am I asking you for predictions? I'm here to put my predictions. You guys know what's going on. This is the future. So, <laughs> I don't know what to really expect. Microsoft doesn't normally give a, pre a press conference at Gamescom, but they're doing it this year because they're doing that whole games, 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 you know, little thing that they're on right now. So I think that's going to be interesting. People are anticipating a price cut on the Xbox One at Gamescom, and I think that's absolutely ludicrous. For one, the Xbox One just had a price cut, technically. By removing Kinect, it's a price cut to put it in line with the PS4. Now, I think for them to cut the price on the Xbox One again to, say, 350 MSRP in U.S., I think that is a short-term sort of desperate strategy we just found out that the ps4 is out on the xbox one or it has been out on the xbox one within the last month three to one and if i remember correctly the ps4 is about to hit 10 million units sold whereas the xbox one sitting around five total i want to say but i do know the wii u has more units sold than the xbox one currently i'm not trying to start any flame wars here but do Xbox One still is not out in as many territories. Whether that's going to make a huge change or not, I don't know. Because I can't predict what's really going to happen. But I mean, from polls and everything that I have seen, there doesn't seem to be that much of a demand for the Xbox One in other territories. I mean, China had doubled down on the Xbox One. And then there were polls that were done, and China's more in favor of the PS4. Japan, people aren't people are excited, but not that excited. I mean, people are barely buying the PS4 in Japan. So, I don't know if those numbers are going to make that much of a difference, if you if you know what I mean. But hey, I mean, more sales for the Xbox One is not a bad thing. I just think a $50 price cut, one, it doesn't make any sense from a business standpoint. I think Microsoft's still trying to play the long-term game here. But I don't know, man. Speaking of which, I think we should get a Connect announcement, that standalone Connect for the Xbox One. I want to see what price it's going to be because if I remember correctly, the Connect 2.0 for Windows is going to be what, $200 standalone? So I think maybe the Connect on the Xbox One, I think it'll be at 100. And here here's my thought on this as we fly out to left field. 
Here's my thought on this. You may think $100, that's insane, Paradox. What are you thinking, man? So, get, get this. So, they put the Kinect standalone on $100, right? Then they can say, okay, you can either buy this Kinectless Xbox One for $400 and buy the Kinect for another one, with another one, you're just for $500. But then you might be adding tax on both of those. So, you might as well just buy it standalone, right? I don't know. I think just there's going to be some pricing with that that's going to just say you might as well just buy it with the Connect because they're double they're still pushing Connect somewhat. They haven't forgotten about Connect and I kind of feel bad for a studio like Remedy because they've been making all these Connect games and Xbox was like we're doubling down with Connect, we're not getting rid of Connect, we're not getting rid of Connect and then they get rid of Connect. But I mean, that's kind of that's what people wanted. So I I give them that for listening to the fans and for listening to gamers as a whole. I but I don't know, man. It's so weird. They're in such a weird position as a company because they've had to do so much changing. And the weird thing with us is the fact that we will applaud them and also hate them for changing. It's like, what do we want them to do? I think we're really sending mixed messages as a market you know but that's my thoughts if the xbox one does get a price cut if the xbox one price cut has been announced by the time you're watching this then boy was i wrong i just don't think it's gonna happen another thing i'm actually looking forward to at gamescom i want to see what they're really gonna show i mean gamescom is technically larger than e3 now or it's moving in on e3 territory it's considered europe's e3 so I'm really wondering what we're going to see. I know Sony, at least, because i that's sort of what I know the most. I know the PlayStation community the most. So I know Sony, we're going to see stuff from Media Molecule. Media Molecule is definitely going to be there, and they're definitely going to show off their new game. That I guarantee that if I'm wrong, then sorry. But that's what I think. That I'm 100% sticking towards that. I also think we're going to see Until Dawn, which was a canceled PS3 game that has been poured over to the PS4. So, seeing those two games, I think will be really good. Until Dawn, I kind of want to know what a release date on that would be. Well, if you don't know Until Dawn, why I think they're going to show that is because they're releasing these Snow with Blood teasers, right? But, hey, a lot of people were thinking, like, maybe they're going to show God of War. I've heard that around, but I don't think that's going to happen because... If you don't know, um, Santa Monica's next game is actually Hohokam, which I covered in my PlayStation News video, but them proper, I think that's Hohokam, and they were working on another game. I know that for sure. They were working on another game, but that game was canceled, so I have no idea what's going on with them, really. It's interesting to see them, though. They actually just got a... It looks like all the Sony first-party studios are getting a little bit of rebranding done because of the same year... Well, actually, no. Sucker Punch's new branding came last year when they first showed off Second Son. But uh, Sucker Punch got new branding and Santa Monica just got new branding, which is very interesting. Santa Monica's new branding is... It's sort of not what people think of when they think Sony Santa Monica. It's very chill. It's very laid back. It reflects more of Hohokam rather than God of War, if you get if you catch my drift. It shows a little bit more calmer side to the studio. When a lot of people, they think of Santa Monica, they think of blood and guts and ripping faces and all that stuff. Because, I mean, God of War is where they made their name, right? And there's no problem with that at all. No problem with that at all. But it's just a very interesting move. That's all I think. But it will be interesting to see, like, Polyphony Digital to get new branding. Or I'm surprised we haven't seen sort of rebranding for uh, Evolution. Evolution's getting ready to launch Drive Club. And that would have been a nice time. I mean, they're even a European-based studio. So I expect they're going to touch on Drive Club. They absolutely have to touch on Drive Club. It's coming out in October. And especially this October, although it's getting less crowded with games, it's still pretty crowded. So, we're at least going to hear the name Drive Club at the press conference at least once. They have to just touch on it, right? Just like I'm expecting to see a um, 
a little bit more Little Big Planet 3. I can't wait to play Little Big Planet 3, by the way. It's going to be a lot of fun. But at the same time, I mean, from what I have heard, actually, that's a cross-gen game. So it's PS3 and PS4, which I do not like because I think Little Big Planet, it is a system seller. For the family market, that game is a system seller. And I think if you said, here's this wonderful experience, you know and love, it's a returning franchise, and it's only on PS4, you're getting sales. You're getting sales right there. But I think them putting it on both is a... I don't know why they did that. I don't know. I mean, even... um, um Crap. Media Molecule isn't even working on Little Big Planet 3. I forgot the proper developer of that game. But I think just from a company standpoint, you want to push these. And you, then you hear all these people complaining that we're the games only on current gen or next gen. We're these on, next gen only games. I think that would have helped help with that. And then you're kind of getting a little bit more variety in your current lineup. But that's that's my thought. That's my opinion on that. But I mean, hey, Little Big Planet 3 is going to be awesome anyway. And I, I found it funny. I was in the comments section with Little Big Planet 3. And it was a place. I was on Facebook, right? So it was a PlayStation advertisement saying that the game was cross gen. And I see this guy in the comments saying, I work at GameStop and the PS3 version isn't in our database. So it's not coming out on PS3. I'm thinking, like, it took me a minute to process that. I'm thinking, like, dude. Like, really? You're commenting on a post made by the company that is putting out this game. They're saying it's going to be multi-platform as far as within... The, it, they're saying it's going to be a platform exclusive. So it's coming out on more than one system on the same platform. And this guy is just in the comments saying, I work at GameStop and it's not coming out on PS3 because it's not in our database. Like, dude! PlayStation is saying that it's coming out on PS3, so don't you expect that it's going to come out on PS3? I don't know. I think that's just weird. I, I don't know what goes on in the minds of people sometimes. But our drought continues again. Look at all those zeros, man. That sucks. And now we got to go against Cincinnati again. That 10 to nothing, man. That 10 to nothing. But make sure you come back tomorrow for more of this game. I'm here, and we will end the drought next episode. I promise you that. I promise you that this drought will end and will end soon. So until tomorrow, this is Paradox. Save peace.